Pitch to Ruiz, and it's in for a strike. He's hitting 245, and he has six runs batted in. Tommy Helms, the regular second baseman, out with an appendectomy. Here is a pitch low for a ball. Alex Johnson, the regular left fielder, and Johnny Bench, the regular Cincinnati catcher, still on Army duty. They're expected almost any time now. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Buddy to the right side, taken by Kruzman, and he goes to Cranfield, who just got to the back inside. Cranfield had gone for the ball, so when he saw that Kuzman would be able to get it, he had to hustle back to the back and just got there ahead of Ruiz. Tolan's coming up. Tolan's hitting 318 with 18 homers and 67 runs batted in. Alex Johnson and Johnny Bench will be winding up their military service this weekend. So the Reds aren't sure when they'll arrive here. Here's a pitch clear ball in for a call strike. It's possible that they could arrive delivery to Tolan. Oh, as he moved up his throw to punt. And it's one and one. Garrett at third, moving in on the edge of the grass. The Mets have an infield of it. Cranefield at first. Ken Boswell's at second. Bud Harrelson at short. Wayne Garrett at third. Leon Jones in left. Tommy Agee in center. Hart Chamsky in right. One-one pitch. A little low. Christmas goes behind. Two and one now. Bob Engel is the umpire behind the plate. Dick Stello is at first base. Augie Donatelli is at second, and Mel Steiner is around at third. Now, oh, here is a 2 1 delivery. One on, and it's one hop to second. Taken there with Boswell up to throwing in time. Get Dolan. It was a focus back. One hop line drive to second. Side is out with no runs, no hits, no errors, and none left. In the middle of the first inning, the score is. The red nothing at the Mets coming to bat. Whether you're looking for a hot or a cold sandwich or a complete dinner, make Pinellas Restaurant on Jefferson Street your headquarters for the finest in Italian or American dishes. At Pinellas, food and cocktails are served daily from 5 p.m. on. They're closed on Sundays. Choose from Pinellas' wide selection on their dinner menu, and they always have those famous steak sandwiches. Many people in the area find Pinellas Restaurant the ideal stopping off place after the races. It's just 400 yards from the new grandstand entrance on Jefferson Street. Each day, Pinellas Restaurant has a different special, and Pinellas is the type of place where you can just relax in their informal atmosphere. Reservations are not necessary, and there's always plenty of free parking. Italian or American dishes, choose your favorite and enjoy the wonderful cuisine at Pinellas Restaurant, Jefferson Street, Saratoga Springs. Why not stop by at Pinellas Restaurant tonight? Tommy Agee is coming up for the Mets. He's hitting 282. He has 16 homers and 46 runs batted in. This afternoon, the Los Angeles Dodgers defeated the Chicago Cubs by a score of 4-2. to two. Ferguson Jenkins, the ace of the Chicago staff, was injured when he was hit on the pitching hand by a line drive off the bat of Willie Davis that carried all the way out into center field. His thumb was x-rayed after the ball game. The x-rays were negative. Wire service stories say now that he will likely not miss a pitching turn. Johnny Lewis hit a homer. Here's a pitch high for a ball. 2-1. The Cincinnati Reds 
Cincinnati Reds like to say that Maloney has had three no-hitters in his career. Technically, that's not quite true. Two on delivery. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Woody Woodward up with it, plays it across in time. And A.G. is out. Ken Boswell coming up now for the Mets. He's hitting 250. Three homers and 19 runs batted in. Breeden is the catcher again tonight for the Cincinnati Reds. Last night he caught his first major league game. Bench in the Army and Pat Corrales away because of the death of his wife. Pitch to left hand by the Boswell. He deep to right field and right there is Pete Rose and he makes the catch. So there are two men out and Cleon Jones will be coming up to the Mets. Hitting 340, 11 homers and 57 runs batted in. He'll get a hand when he's announced here. Montreal is at Atlanta tonight. Gary Wasluski 2 and 3 against Phil Necro, who's won 15 and lost 7. San Diego is at Pittsburgh. Joe Necro 5 and 6 against Steve last 9 and 6. Phillies are at Houston later and San Francisco at St. Louis later. That's the lineup in the National League. Here's Maloney's pitch. Curveball high for ball one. The Yankees are at California. Later start tonight. The end of an inning. Minnesota nothing. Cleveland nothing. Jim Perry 11 and four against Sal McDowell 11 and nine. Chicago White Sox are at Baltimore. Pitch is low. Two and zero to John. Gary Peters six and ten for the White Sox. Dave McNally. Detroit, Washington, and Oakland, Boston, and Seattle later. Breaking pitch in for a call strike. Two and one. Overall, Maloney has a record of four wins and two losses this year against the Mets. He's won none and lost one. Started with no decision against the Mets at Shea on May 6th. The Mets won the game three to one. Cincinnati Reds. He 
trade was in exchange for utility infielder Bob Johnson. This will be a 3-1 pitch now to Art Chapsky. And he walked him. Chapsky goes to first, Joan holds his second, and Wayne Garrett's coming up. Garrett's hitting 261. He has one homer and 24 runs batted in.
score of four to nothing. Acro is pitching for Atlanta, and Gary Wazlewski will be pitching for Montreal. Tony Perez is up now. Here is Kuzman's pitch, and it's high for a ball. He's had 23 homers, 71 runs batted in. Pitches in for a strike. It was his home run in the 12th inning last night that won the ball game for the Cincinnati Reds, 4 to 3. Good run with a 1 1 delivery. Let up, high and away. Two years ago, Perez won the All Star game for the National League by hitting a home run in the 15th inning. One-nothing ball game. Here's a 2-1 delivery. Swung on and missed. It's 2-2. Two -two. The Baltimore Orioles have scored three runs in the bottom of the first at the end of an inning. Baltimore three, the Chicago White Sox nothing. Frank Robinson It is 23rd homer in that first inning with two men on. In the middle of the second now, Minnesota nothing, Cleveland nothing. The Yankees are at California later. There's a swing and a base hit up the middle for Tony Perez. Tommy Agee charges up with it.
Lee. Ruiz follows the ball. Scannell picks it up, throws in time. Lee May had started for the ball, so he had to scramble back to the bag. Maloney, seeing that May had not get back, made a dash to the bag as well, but after Ruiz scrambled to pounce on the ball, he made the play to Lee May, so make it 4-3. Bud Harrison, switch hitting shortstop, batting left. 44 he has 12 runs batted in. Bringing a foul ball off and out of play. Dick McAuliffe, infielder of the world champion Detroit Tigers, will undergo surgery on Monday to repair the torn cartilage in his knee. It is likely that he will be out for the remainder of the season. Dick McAuliffe. is high for a ball. It's one and one. Here's a one-one delivery. One on in line to the right field. A base hit from Bud Harrelson. Pete Rose. That's what it plays it back. Harrelson turns and holds with a single to right. That'll bring up Jerry Kuzma. Kuzma is one for 43. He's had one hit this year, and that was a front base hit. Batting average is .0.
has struck out one, walked none. Has a record of eight wins and five losses. And now he gets a fastball through, two balls, one strike. Guzman has worked 126 innings. He has struck out 106 batters. He has an earned run average of under two a game. Allowing 1.89 earned runs per this past winter. Did it cost you more than you had expected to keep warm this season? If it did, it might have been one of two things that proved costly for you. One, every fuel oil is not the same, and clean, fast-burning fuel oil is important to you, not only for the maximum heat, but for the best efficiency of your heating system. And two, perhaps your furnace or heating system needs cleaning. The Adirondack Oil Service on Maple Avenue can help you with both of those problems. First, when you call on the Adirondack Oil Service, you'll receive prompt service from their radio dispatch trucks, and they will deliver the finest fuel oil that money can buy. And if a dirty burner is your problem, Adirondack Oil Service can handle that problem, too. Now is the ideal time to have your burner cleaned and adjusted so that your heating system will operate at its maximum efficiency and economy next season. Don't wait until you need your furnace operating full-time. Call the Adirondack Oil Service on Maple Avenue in Saratoga now at 584-2045.
2-2 delivery. Curve inside as AG rocks away. And a count three and two on the center fielder for the New York Mets. The end of one half inning. Philadelphia nothing. Houston coming up. Also scheduled San Francisco at St. Louis. And the 3-2 pitches in the third in ball form. Tommy AG walks. Mets have a runner on, but no one out in the bottom of the third. A scoreless ball game and Ken Boswell coming up.
single to center field off a of fastball his first time up with a count of two balls and one strike. Here his first two pitches have been fastball. Atlanta has scored two runs in the first and now Montreal coming to bat at the top of the second leading four to two. Amalone leans in for the time. It takes too much time. Leon back out of the batter's box. Back to first. A.G. on third. A walk in a single. No one out. We're in the bottom of the third. And Maloney set to go. Again, the two-strike pitch. And it's low. One ball, two strikes. In the American League, at the end of three and a half, Minnesota nothing, Cleveland nothing. At the end of two, Baltimore three, the White Sox nothing. Only games in progress. Pitch to Jones is grounded out towards third. A.G. hangs at third base. The ball fielded by Perez. The long throw to first base is in time as Boswell moves down to second. Full chopper down to third, and Perez fielded the ball about two steps from the bag on a short hop. A.G. wisely went back to the bag. He could not have scored. On the out at first base, the Mets now have runners at second and third with one away and Art Chemsky coming up. Walking the 3 1 pitches first time up. Time called now as D. May, the first baseman, adjusts his right shoe. Damsky, a left hand batter, hitting at 340. Eight home runs and 22 runs batted in. Former Cincinnati Red. Infield is brought in. construction of Clifton Park to do the job for you at the prices below all area competition. Call Regional at 371-7373. Regional construction of Clifton Park has a complete staff of skilled craftsmen ready to give you the kitchen of your dreams. Call Regional at 371-7373 to find out how little it will cost for you to make that new kitchen a reality. Regional's free home planning service will be helpful. Remember, they'll assist you in financing, no money down, and up to seven years to pay. 
A new kitchen from Regional Construction of Clifton Park could be the best investment you make in 1969. Call Regional at 371-7373. Regional Construction of Clifton Park. Handcrafted quality by experts. To the top of the fourth, the Mets in front one nothing, and the first batter for the Cincinnati Reds will be Pete Rose. Pete, on his first pitch, slide out to deep center field his first time up. This time he looks at the first pitch as Jerry Kuzman throws a change curveball for a strike. Rose batting 329 with 10 home runs, 47 runs batted in, batting right-handed against the left-hander. And Kuz back, and the fastball is fouled back into the stand. up one base hit, a single to center field by Tony Perez. He retired the side through the first three innings with a double play. And now he's pitching to his tenth batter, and the pitch back to the plate is outside, a fastball missing one and two. Guzman has struck out two walks on Back at one two, and the pitch is one on and miss. Guzman with a blazing fastball strikes out Pete Rowe. It's his third strike out of the ball game, and that ball had smoke on it. That'll bring up Chico Ruiz, who tried to bunt his way on his first time up and was thrown out by Jerry Guzman. One of the top commentators in baseball on TV and Kuzman did not throw hard. He has not been around. Ground ball hits Goldie out the short. Harrelson starts. Just comes up throwing. Gets his man. Little chopper out to shortstop, and Harrelson had to charge the ball. He picked it up in his glove hand, transferred the ball quickly, and throwing while running at full speed. He got his man at first base by half a stride. So Ruiz is out for the second out of the inning. Brilliant play by Bud Harrelson, and it brings up Bobby Dolan. Bobby got jammed with a fastball his first time up and got his bat broken when the ball hit him off the fist. And he grounded out to second. Left hand bat in the first pitch of the curve as he clutches away and it's over for a call strike. Nolan batting 317. That's the leading 1-0, zooming out, top of the fourth inning. And Kuzman back. The one strike pitch is running out to first. It's foul. If it had been fair, it would have been an easy out for Greenpool as he fielded the ball in back of the bag at first about two steps away. So Tolan going defensive, trying to bunt his way on, and it's strike two. Tolan has had 18 home runs and with two men out. He was trying to bunt his way on. Now it's two strikes. It is grounded back to Gary Cooch. Jerry makes the play to first base for the after retired inside of order. And the score through three and a half innings, the Mets won. The Reds nothing. Many people, when they reach 65, would like to slow down a little, but not necessarily to retire completely. Well, you do not have to retire completely to get Social Security benefits. You can earn as much as $1,680 in a year and still get a Social Security check every month. You can earn a good deal more than $1,680 in a year and still get part of the benefits, depending on how much more you earn. And here's an important point. No matter how much money you earn during the year, you can get a benefit check for any month in which you earn no more than $140. You just heard a lot of figures. $1,680 in a year, $140 in a month, age 65. Don't be confused. If you have any questions at all about retirement, earnings, and Social Security benefits, get in touch with your Social Security office. The people there will be glad to answer your questions and help you apply for benefits. We're going to the mid half of the fourth inning as they come up, leading by a score of one to nothing. It'll be Eddie Greenville, J.C. Martin, and Bud Harrelson for Jim Maloney. In the third, when the Mets got their first run of the ball game and the only run, Maloney was hit hard, three line drives, but the Mets had only one base hit. One was got, 
Archansky that got a run in from third on a sacrifice fly, and the other was a line shot to short. And Burberry made a fine play on it to keep the men from scoring in the second run. Eddie Greenpool takes the first pitch inside ball one. Greenpool grounded out to second base with two men out of the bases loaded his first time up. Now he pops one up foul back to home plate. The ball will go out of play. Ed batting 235. He has eight home runs, 39 runs batted in. Ball four. Fourth walk given up by Malone. 
did you make out this past winter? Did it cost you more than you had expected to keep warm this season? If it did, it might have been one of two things that proved costly for you. One, every fuel oil is not the same, and clean, fast-burning fuel oil is important to you, not only for the maximum heat, but for the best efficiency of your heating system. And two, perhaps your furnace or heating system needs cleaning. The Adirondack Oil Service on Maple Avenue can help you with both of those problems. First, when you call on the Adirondack Oil Service, you'll receive prompt service from their radio dispatch trucks, and they will deliver the finest fuel oil that money can buy. And if a dirty burner is your problem, Adirondack Oil Service can handle that problem, too. Now is the ideal time to have your burner cleaned and adjusted so that your heating system will operate at its maximum efficiency and economy next season. Don't wait until you need your furnace operating full-time. Call the Adirondack Oil Service on Naval Avenue in Saratoga now at 584-2045.
That is not a full out. Strike one pitch. In there for a call. Strike two at the knee. selection we have to offer. Walton's carries pack frames, canteens, and mess kits. If this is your first year of tenting, then be sure that you see Walton's for all styles of tents, air mattresses, and Coleman stoves and lanterns. Walton's carries a full line of famous name sleeping bags. Of course at Walton's, hunters can find everything in one convenient location. Guns, ammunition, and hand-loading equipment, and rifle scopes to make those long shots sure and safer. For the golfers, be sure to visit Walton's par three room where you'll find a complete line of golf equipment. Shoes, clubs, bags, carts, and a rainproof jacket for just $9.95. A complete line of equipment for all sports is what you'll find at Walton Sports Shop, Lake Avenue in Saratoga, where sportsmen cater to sportsmen. Short. And in the third, we're 
he's in for a call strike. Jim Maloney with a strike one delivery, and it's swung on it on the ground. Back of first foul out of play. Two strike count to Boswell. He's running this time, swinging a ground ball to second. Chico Ruiz is there. 
lives would depend on immediate and essential information from government. That's why the emergency broadcast system was developed. It provides the president and the federal government, as well as your state and local authorities, with a means of quick communications with the general public. In event of an attack, normal radio and television programming will immediately be discontinued, and only designated emergency broadcast stations will continue in operation. At that time, you would be instructed to tune to one of your area radio stations for official information and civil defense instructions. The emergency broadcast station serving your vicinity would easily be found by simply dialing around on your standard radio fan. For while there would be no broadcast of station call letters during an emergency, repeated area identifications would be given with emergency information and civil defense instructions for your particular area.
up Jim Maloney, the pitcher. He's got up one time and he grounded out second to first. Maloney is three for 21 at the plate this year. One home run, two runs batted in. He's hitting 143, but he's a left-hand batter and swings a pretty good bat.
it's something of a delayed start. Martin did not throw through. This will be a strike one delivery to Tolan. Breaking pitch low for a ball. It's one and one. Tony Perez is on deck.
for a complete dinner, make Pinellas Restaurant on Jefferson Street your headquarters for the finest in Italian or American dishes. At Pinellas, food and cocktails are served daily from 5 p.m. on. They're closed on Sundays. Choose from Pinellas' wide selection on their dinner menu, and they always have those famous steak sandwiches. Many people in the area find Pinellas Restaurant the ideal stopping off place after the races. It's just 400 yards from the new grandstand entrance on Jefferson Street. Each day, Pinellas Restaurant has a different special, and Pinellas is the type of place where you can just relax in their informal atmosphere. Reservations are not necessary, and there's always plenty of free parking. Italian or American dishes, choose your favorite and enjoy the wonderful cuisine at Pinellas Restaurant, Jefferson Street, Saratoga Springs. Why not stop by at Pinellas Restaurant tonight? Savage has hit into a double play started by Wayne Garrett and bounced out 
third to first, nothing for two. Nobody out, Lee May is now on first base. Here's the pitch to Savage, and it's high, ball one. Now Savage stepping out of the batter's box to check with third base coach Vern Benson. are contemplating putting the runner over. Full swing and a pop fly on the right side of the infield. Kenny Boswell gliding toward the foul line is under it, and he has it for the out. One away and one on. Now the hitter is the shortstop, Woody Woodward. He has bounced to short and singled to center field. He led off the sixth inning with a base hit and later scored the run that tied the game. He was brought home a Pete Rose base hit. Reds have now taken the lead here in the seventh on a home run by Tony Perez. He is 24th of the year. Here's the pitch by Coos inside and low. Eddie Crane Gould holding against the runner. The runner is Lee May. even with the bag, wide of the line at third. There goes the runner, hit and run, foul, third ball, right down the right field line, rolling into the corner. May is being raised around third. He's heading home. There'll be no relay. He scores standing up. A double on the right field line on a hit and run play. Well, you can't do it any better than that. Woodward, a right-hand batter, was late getting around on Kuzma's fastball. Hit a blistering line drive hit right on the line. Rolled into the corner. May was running on the pitch and he comes all the way around. And now the Reds have an insurance run. They lead three to one. Woody Woodward has two for three in the ballgame. So Jerry Coos, but it was more or less pitching around. Lee May has lived to regret it. On a hit the run double by Woody Woodward that brings May all the way home. Breeden, the right-hand batting catcher, facing Jerry Kuzman. Here's the pitch on the way, and a curve for a strike on the inside corner. Two runs are in. The Reds lead 3-1. They have Woodward on second. The pitch to Danny Breeden. Ground ball hit towards third. It's a foul ball. Run down and foul ground by Wayne Garrett. So Braden, who was running it out, returns to the batter's box with a count of strike two. Perez leading off the inning homer to put Cincinnati out in front two to one. Lee May drew a walk. Savage popped up. But on a hit to run play, Woodward hit a double right on the right field line. strike delivery. High with a fastball, one ball and two strikes. Ron Taylor is on call in the New York Mets bullpen. Now Coos into the set position. And a pop-up out towards second base. Calling for the ball is Kenny Boswell. Between the first and the second, he takes it for the out. keeps Ron Taylor working in the bullpen because Guzman is due to bat in the last of the seventh inning. With the Mets now trailing by two runs, Gil Mayfield, he has to go to a pinch hitter. Jim Maloney is up facing Jerry Guzman. At a curve on the outside corner, strike one. Jim Maloney has passed out to second and grounded back to the pitcher, nothing for two. Maloney has three hits this year. One of the three was a home run. Breaking ball, low and away. One ball, one strike. Montreal has stretched the lead out over Atlanta now. 8-2 in the top half of the fifth inning. The 
one one pitch ground ball hammered foul outside the bag at first. Atlanta just got three in the last of the fourth inning. They're going to have quite a ball game before this is over. Montreal is leading eight to five at the end of four. Bill Negro has been knocked out. Gary Neidauer has come on. Wazlewski is pitching for Montreal. Bailey, LaBoy, and Staub have all homered for the Expos. San Diego got two in the sixth inning. The Padres lead the Pirates three to one at the end of six. Joe Negro against Steve Blass. Phillies two, Houston nothing at the end of five. And a swing and a miss, he struck him out. Guzman strikes out Maloney. His fifth strikeout.
it goes foul down the third base line. Speed running up on the ball, bunted it foul. Rose singled in to run the tied the ball game in the sixth inning. Speed has one for three. He is the defending Major League batting champion. And he's doing all right. He's hitting 329.
listening to New York Mets Baseball on WKHA-FM 102.3 in Saratoga Springs, New York.
season. The pitch by Clay Carroll is off the outside corner. Oh, the home run by Martin was tagged. It was a line drive. It did not appear to be high enough to go out. It looked like Rose might make a jumping catch. He went back to the fence and he jumped, but he couldn't reach it. Curve inside and low, two and two to Bud Harrelson. And the ball, traveling on a line, just skimmed right across the very top of the fence and on into the bullpen. New York 
four, Cincinnati three, top of the ninth. Tony Perez led off here on the top of the ninth inning with a double against the fence in left field. John Taylor is ready. And the pitch on the way. On the outside corner, strike one call. Ron will be trying very hard not to give Whitfield a ball he can pull. He is a pull hitter. That's out of an overly closed fence, and he has power. The Mets flame swung around to the right in the outfield. The right side of the infield is back deep. Way outside, one ball, one strike. Wayne Garrett, even with the bag, wide of the line at third. And Bud Harrelson is playing Whitfield as a definite pull hitter as he shades him toward the middle of the diamond. The regular shortstop position is open against the left-hand pull hitter. New York bullpen, Cal Kuss and Nolan Ryan are working. And a drive in the air to left field. Jones going full speed. Makes the catch. Two men down. Well, Whitfield, the full hitter, crossed up everybody. He sliced one toward the left field line. And Jones, who has marvelous speed, had to use all of his command to catch up with that line drive near the left field line. Now Jimmy Stewart, a switch hitter, is coming up as a fence batter for Woody Woodward. And Gil Hodges is going to the mound. Manager Gil Hodges goes out to the mound now to talk with Ron Taylor and J.C. Martin. Bud Harrelson comes in from shortstop. Stewart will be hitting left against Ron Taylor. Stewart is hitting 244. You may remember him from the Chicago Cubs. The Mets four and the Reds three, two down in the ninth. The tying run is on second base. Ron Taylor plants his spike. Perez leading off second. Now the stretch by Taylor. And the pitch on the way. A line drive. Nothing. 
Simon, pitching around Lee May, learned to regret it. Because after Savage popped a second on a hit to run play, Woody Woodward, a right-hand batter, hit a hard line drive that landed smack dab on the right field line and rolled into the corner. And May came all the way around from first to score. And the Reds were out in front by a score of 3-1. to one. Then, in the last of the eighth inning, trailing 3-1, to one, Leon Jones was hit by a pitch. Art Shamsky hit a long drive to deep right center field. Bobby Tolan went streaking toward the right center field fence. As he reached the wall, he reached high over his head, just barely got his glove on it. It broke against the fence for a two-base hit, putting runners on second and third. The Reds elected to play their infield back. They were hit by two runs, and Wayne Garrett grounded out to first. Jones came in to score, and it was 3-2. to two. Then the infield came in, and it worked as Crane Brewer bounced to second. Weiss, the punch runner, had to hold. But J.C. Martin, with two men out of the last of the eighth inning, then won the ball game for the New York Mets with a savage line drive that skimmed right on top of the bullpen fence and right and on into the bullpen for a two-run homer. For Martin, his fourth home run of the year, it was the game-winning base hit. Jim Maloney pitched seven innings and Clay Carroll won for Cincinnati. When Maloney left the ball game, his team was in front by a score of 3-1. to one. Maloney does not figure in the decision. For New York, Jerry Kuzman pitched seven good innings. He left for a pinch hitter behind 3-1. Ron Taylor worked the last two innings, allowed no runs and one hit, and Ron will get the victory.